morning. Welcome to a uh, very damp Cambridgeshire. I'm out on my bike. Of course I chose a lovely day for it, but it's been a while. It's good to get out in the fresh air and to be honest even though it's raining it's quite mild <clears throat> and there's not many people around which also helps. He says looking through the gaps. So I'm at Fendrayton uh, Nature Reserve, which you've seen on a few of my videos. Um, just cycled about uh, three miles ish out of two two miles out of St Ives, three miles ish from my house. Got the old legs going. <clears throat> it's been a while, <clears throat> so I'll I'll give you a little look over the bike. I don't know if this one's been on video before. This it's been on the. Drum and bass bike ride. I don't know why I said it like that. Drum and bass. Um, there's a bus coming because we're off the guided busway. Um, yeah, so I'll talk you over the bike, how it is at the moment, with a few new additions. So this is a 23 year old Scott mountain bike. I originally had uh, suspension on there which I've changed to a rigid fork originally had 21 gears it now has one uh, seat is the original one and the wheels tires are good old faithful Schwalb Marathon Plus no punctures on these bad boys and they roll really nicely on tarmac and even on a bit of mud and gravel as well uh, what else got, got a couple of lights of course safety first Alp kit top tube bag which was pricey but uh, I got that in the Lake District and when I was there I just I hadn't bought anything else so I figured treat myself um, seems to be holding out pretty well in the rain it's enough room for some snacks I've already had a banana out of there Got some trail mix and a little uh, flapjack in there. Nice waterproof zip. Got the water bottle on there. I need to get some new ones. These, this one's that was from 2014. Uh, it's debatable how long you can use those for, so I should probably upgrade. Tour de France finished yesterday. Um, the Jumbo Visma team with Vingegaard winning it, good old boy. <laughs> Maybe I should get their team bottle in uh, honour of the win. So this is the new edition, Caradice Cara Dry Bag. I found in a charity shop, uh, as, as I do quite frequently. Uh, it was about half its normal price, as new, not used. You see it fits on the seat tube with these there's just a couple of bolts and you've got this quick release and you lift it out. I'm not going to do it now because it's a bit of a faff uh, to be honest. Um, but it does come out relatively easy and there's enough clearance. It acts like a mudguard as you can see. But it's made of this really thick PVC material. Um, no stitching. I think they just weld all the seams. So. That should be that should be fine. Again, I've got waterproof zips. Hopefully waterproof because my phone's in there. Soon find out. And another one on the other side. It's got a removable top um, lid. It's adjustable and removable because you've got this roll top which can come out quite far. I don't know what the capacity is of this. I'll, I'll look it up and put it on the screen somewhere. So I brought a few things with me just to see what I could fit. You can see there's loads of space in there still. Well, can you see? I don't know. Anyway, I'll put my hand in there. There's quite a bit of room. I've taken my camera out that was in here. Got a first aid kit. Got a little zippered pocket just got my wallet in it, got, just for size, see what I can fit, got my little cook kit here, David Fryer's pouches, 
that one's got like a lighter and matches and things in. That one's got my uh, Trangia burner. He makes really cool pouches. These are the waxed cotton, uh, waxed canvas versions. Um, I'll put a link to his his uh, YouTube and his website below. Check him out. Some really cool stuff. This cook set. Guess where I found this? Yep, charity shop. <laughs> I was going to use it today, but because of the weather, I just yeah, I can't be bothered to do any cooking. So this is titanium. Definitely been used, but still good nick. It's one of those um, random brands, Boundless Voyage. I think there's one factory that makes all these things and then they just stick a different name on it, but it's pretty light. I don't know how light I'll weigh it at home. Put it on the screen. It's got a frying pan. It's nice. Handles on both, and it nestles, goes back in its little bag that comes with it. Also, I've got I've brought with me my honey honey stove, and a guided bus. Yeah, I'm not going to get all this out, but next time I will. So yeah, got my honey stove in there. Really good, and I got my Camelback toolkit roll, tool roll. Excuse the knees. So I've just got the usual spare pump, tools, zip ties, ancient puncture repair kit, and tire levers. Hopefully, won't need those. And what else? The other thing, right at the back, we got a lock. Do I need to get this out? No, no because it's going to make the bike fall over. Anyway, there's a lock in there. So there's still loads of room in there, even with the things I bought. So it's a good test. I'm sure I could get enough camping gear in there for uh, an overnighter, which will be probably my next next trip, maybe weather permitting so that's all that I mentioned the trail mix earlier I'll give you a little look at my latest combo I'm trying out a few different flavors <laughs> see what works so you can see here I've got almonds hazelnuts cranberries smarties and oh, what they're called sugary sweet things I'll, I'll put it on the screen my brain doesn't work yeah I'm trying a few different ones of these um, for walks and bike rides good for you put sugar in there for energy nuts for protein and stuff yeah definitely, uh, definitely better value than buying the ready made ones anyway and then yeah, flapjack. <laughs> My arms aren't long enough. <laughs> Does my tail back look big in this? Right lads, lads or lasses? I'm not going to try and find out. <laughs> yeah, I remember what happened last time. <laughs> You're not going to let it happen today, are you? <laughs> All right, cheers. Yup. I'll put some banging tunes over it if it's really windy. <laughs>
<sighs> Despite the weather, it's been a nice ride. Uh, I got this really zoomed in or something. I don't know. Anyway, not much further now. Those uh, open stretches on the guided busway can be a bit of a, a bit of a leg, a leg killer, especially with old legs and one gear, old bike. <laughs> excuses, excuses. Anyway. Dryer's done a good job. I mean, it's filthy, but everything inside is dry. It, it looks like it should be really wobbly, but it's not. So it's pretty cool. Obviously, it's not really heavy, it's not fully loaded, but yeah, let's pass the test. Nice one. I'll get I've used that before, I know that's good. Another thing I tried today, excuse my legs, waterproof socks. Never tried them before. Ooh. They actually worked. My feet are bone dry and warm, which is nice. Uh, my shoes are waterproof as well, but normally the water gets in and you get damp socks. Nobody likes that. But yeah. Nice. Toasty warm feet, dry. It is look. twenty to two. I left just after eleven, so not bad. Don't know how many miles I've done. A few. I'll I'll work it out later and put it on the screen somewhere. I'll give you a bit of a. Uh, nature instead of me yapping on Nice successful, successful ride. It's actually really nice now. The rain stopped for a bit. It's not too humid. Just listening to the the birds, mostly pigeons, but a few of the waterfowl. 
duck. <sighs> anyway, I'm just going to rest here for a bit, finish my water, have some more trail mix, and uh, head the next couple of miles back to St Ives. Hopefully, I'll be out a bit more on this bike. All my, my touring bike as well. And I'm going to do some experimenting with packing this. See what I can fit in here. Expand it, maybe take the lid off, see how much how much gear I can fit in there. But I'm, I'm very impressed, considering I got it half its normal price. I'll put a link to their website anyway. Uh, they're handmade. I believe they're handmade in the UK. Um, British company anyway. So you can have a look at their range. Um, anything you've seen me use or talk about that you want to know any more, leave a comment. I'll try and put as much info as I can remember, which is not a lot right now. <laughs> I'll put it in the description box. Yeah, I've got a feeling my legs are going to be aching tomorrow. I haven't gone that far, but yeah, it's been a while. <laughs> they ain't what they used to be. Oh, if I had a zoom lens, it's a heron. Right, I think it's a heron. There's no way I can zoom in on that. It's sort of right in that tree. Nah, I'm never going to see it. Don't know how much I can zoom in. Zoomy, zoomy, zoom. Yeah, there. Pretty sure it's a heron. Definitely not a swan, anyway. Right, it's looking like rain's rain's on its way. So hopefully I can get home before getting soaked because everything's kind of dried off a bit now. So it'll be nice to get back before that. I don't know which way is it going? This way, I think. There's not a lot of wind around, so if it does rain, it's going to stick around. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed this little uh, little trip, little adventure, mini adventure, trial run for a few bits of kit. Um, I should have bought I should have bought something to cook because this would have been perfect spot right here, and there's no wind, so I could have got something. Never mind. Next time. At least I know stuff fits in the bag, so I'll pick a day where the weather's slightly less um, changeable and uh, do a proper cook-up of something interesting. Alright, cheers for watching. See you in the next one, which I promise won't be too long, okay? Cheers for now. Bye! Bye! Wobbly legs! Wobbly legs!